Hello everyone. So my name is Emery Thomas. I'm a Microsoft 365 developer at Avanade France. Uh, you can contact me on Twitter or on LinkedIn. And today I'm going to talk to you about the application secrets expiration web part. So just to give you a bit of context on why did I build this web part. So basically, when you build applications, you may need to use Azure AD app registration, uh, for example, to get specific permission or to authenticate your users. And for, uh, I mean, each of these uh, Azure AD applications uh, can have multiple certificates or secrets uh, as credentials. And in the end, if you have a lot of application, uh, you, you may have a lot of secrets and a lot of uh, certificates to monitor, and it can be difficult uh, for you to know uh, when a specific secret is going to expire uh, or certificate. And that's where this web part uh, can help you. Because what it will do, uh, it will display all uh, Azure AD application secrets and certificates along uh, with their expiration date in a, in a list. So to do that, uh, I'm using the Graph API to get uh, the applications information, uh, the MS Graph client to, to connect easily to the MS Graph, and finally, some uh, React controls to, to display the, the items. So let's move on to the demo part. So here I have my web part. So as you, you can see, I have all my secrets and certificates. Uh, for each item, you have the application ID. Uh, if you click on the link, uh, you can di directly access the application page uh, on the Azure portal. You have the application display name, the number of days left before the expiration, the credential type, and the exact expiration date. Uh, you have the pagination component to browse uh, through the pages. And finally, the search component to search uh, for a specific type of credential or uh, a specific expiration date. Oops. Here. Uh, you can also um, choose different settings uh, from the property pane. So, for example, you can uh, select a grouped column. So here, if I choose application ID, I will have all my items grouped by application. And you can also choose uh, to display only secrets and certificates that will expire soon. So if I do that, I will only have uh, my secrets or certificates, actually here only my secrets. That's, that will expire uh, within uh, the next 30 days. And the last setting that I'm using today, but I'm not sure that uh, it's going to be very uh, useful for you, is to choose to display, uh, not to display the real uh, application, but only sample data uh, that I defined on the JSON file. So now let's move on to the code part of the demo. So first, what I want to do uh, is to get my application. So to do that, uh, I'm using the graph client uh, to get uh, my applications. I want to select my application ID, my uh, application display name, but also uh, my password credential, which will contain uh, all the information that I need uh, about my secrets and key credentials that is going to contain uh, all the information that I need uh, regarding my uh, certificates. So as you can see here, I'm not getting all the application. I will only uh, get the top 100 applications. So I guess my, I guess my next PR will be to improve that to make sure that I'm getting uh, each and every applications. But anyway, once I have retrieved my applications, 
I can start building uh, the items that I'm going to display on my list. So to do that, uh, for each uh, password credential, I will create uh, a new object. So with the application ID, application display name, and all the, the column, uh, column of the list. And, uh, and of course, I'm going to do the same uh, for uh, my certificates. And once I have all uh, my items, we can move on to the rendering part of the web part. So I, uh, I'm using a list view component, uh, a pagination component, and a search component. So you can see that I'm not using a search component included uh, in the um, in the list view component. I'm doing that because I wanted to make sure that uh, the search results that I'm getting were from uh, all the items and not only uh, from the items that are displayed on the current page. And once and that's it for the demo. So you can find a sample on the GitHub repository. And I, and I wanted to mention this great article from Russ Rimmerman, uh, which I got the inspiration from to, to create this web part. So that's it for me. Back to you, David. Thank you, Amory. Very, very cool stuff. Just to call out from a SharePoint engineering side of the house, we've been internally pushing on potentially having extensibility in the tenant admin UX, and this would be a perfect candidate for that kind of a uh, page. So, so you would be able to then put this web part in the in the SharePoint or in the Office 365 tenant admin. Um, so, because of course that's a kind of an administrative view, and you don't want to expose that to everybody. So, but really, really cool stuff. Sure. Yeah, excellent use. I mean, you could also use the um, obviously the uh, site collection app catalogs to isolate some of this stuff uh, for yep. that exact purpose. So great point, Bess. I was thinking the same thing. Mm -hmm.